What's up, everybody? MC Murr here, and welcome back to the show. And it's about time, way past time, actually, to talk about the Southern Fried Gaming Expo 2019. And I would have had this video out a week ago, except that there was just so much footage to go through. So many amazing things that went down to this thing. So many fantastic experiences that I want to share with you right here on the show. If you did not attend, you are going to see a million and one reasons in this video why you must be there next year. This is simply an event not to be missed. I mean, we had ridiculous amounts of fun, got ridiculous amounts of loot. We're going to touch on all of that today. First things first, I just want to take you on a little tour. Actually, not so little of a tour. I want to take you through all the rooms, all the events, all the things that were going on. I want you to get a look at just how good of a time I had at this dadgum thing. You got to get a look at it. Won't you come take a walk with me? Can I walk through here and get a look at everything? See what they have here. <laughs> kind of cool. Look at this now. Hello, welcome. What's going on Are you over a here? RPG player? I am. All right. Do you like Vikings? I do. We have the system for you. You are the target market. Jesus Christ. This, I know. This is the guy we're looking for right here. At the... Well, this is what caught my eye. You're not in this market, are you? Or is that just for show? No, but we do have some cool stuff. I don't know. If you make it friendly, if you well, make it worthwhile, it might let it go. Yeah. Not to take away from the uh, RPGs, because that's cool. Yeah. So this is a rules by story heavy uh, North themed RPG. Uh, oh. Something that Dom and I made. That, that's us on the cover there. Um, a lot of cool art in there, a lot of cool mechanics. Like we said, you uh, make a Viking character, you have five different Norse gods to choose from. We have a raiding mechanic where you can go take out over other settlements. Uh, kind of get yeah, your there own you go, sir. Yeah. Pick it up, hold it for a while. It's going to be yours yeah. in a moment. Exactly. You think? I think. Pretty sure. I think so. Um, we have rune casting, which to fit along with the Viking theme. Every character can use a little bit, and if you buy into it, you can chain up the three of these bad boys together, which at the table creates right. some pretty ridiculous effects. It's it's taken my it's taken the group that I run through like from TPK to destroy the monster and wait, fully wait, wait, heal yourself. From TPK to AOK. -okay. Oh, oh hey, just figured a, it out. That's a nice one. Uh, I like yeah. it. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that book is everything you need to get going. That is uh, your magic system, your artifacts, which is the chapter you're in right now. Uh, monsters, we have player prefab creation. adventures. Full um, campaign setting to run through. Full I like that. To back to run your, your players through. Uh, um, uh, eight plus two, right? Or is it uh, yeah. Yeah. eight plus two, ten? Nice. All right, so, yeah. so, <laughs> so, he sw tries to swat at it. It barely gets through his guard, but even your greatsword is just pushed all the way through. And as he tries to swat it, it makes it through to his chest, and you now have a big dead goblin on the end of your sword. It is now your turn. Mm. He's gone, yeah. right? Wow. Yes, he is. He is gone. All right. So, uh, yes. Yep, I'll say you have enough to move in and engage the bar. six if I could here. And I'm going to take a swing. Oh, i got to roll a... Attack it. Yep. Roll your attack. Same time. He, he rolls. Oh. So a 19 oh, yeah. plus... Oh, yeah. So, no, no, okay. You run around the corner. You run around the corner, and you literally just take clop. His head just comes right off. Okay. As you made your turn, boom, cost some momentum, and it just takes feeling, yeah. And he, you now have a headless goblin and one more movement. All right. So can I go to, after this guy? Uh, you have one more movement.
was gorgeous. There's a chair right there. Grab a chair. Man, that's, that's sensory overload right there. So much to take in. The sights and the sounds. It was just incredible, man. The games, the experiences, but the games, the classicness of those games. Is that a word, classicness? So classic. So much wood grain. The wood grain in this place. I mean, sweet Jesus. It was just really something to behold. But I hope you enjoyed that little walk through there and look at uh, some of the action that was going on. There was a lot of it. And of course, there's loot. I want to show you some of the loot. There's always loot, right? I had to pick me up a little LCD game. Well, I didn't have to, but I wanted to. I've collected the Tiger ones in the past, but I've never collected the Acclaim ones. These are the Acclaim ones. Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors 2, if you watch the show, you know I love Wizards and Warriors. Both Wizards and Warriors, but when you put them together, that's, you know, peanut butter and jelly, right? It works really great. This works really great, and I'm really tickled with it for the price that I paid. It was totally worth that and then some. It works really good, great sound. It'd be a nice little addition to put on the shelf, I think. And, you know, I went ahead and I had to pick up the Sagas of Midgard RPG book. Love the sales pitch these guys did. They were really all about their product. They were really having way too much fun with it. They threw in the rune deck, which I'm pretty sure they did for everybody. But thank you. And that was fantastic. A little bit of a discount there. You know, it, it, there again, if you watch the show, you know that I'm into some RPG books. I collect these things. And, you know, this is a new game that's got some really cool concepts in it. You know, raids and whatnot and building structures and all that kind of stuff. Very Viking based, of course, which is a really cool theme. A cinematic Norse RPG. So there's going to be something neat to put on the shelf and hopefully get versed in in the not too distant future and take a run through with some of my D&D folks. Really, really neat. Really glad to have that. And going along with that, because we had a great D&D &D experience there, got to play some sessions. Got us some dice from the Black Oak Workshop. They're actually based in Georgia. Really impressed with the workmanship on these dice. Had I been there for any more days than we were, I might have bought them out. Every time I walked past, I had to buy a couple more, but they're just really, really neat. And just like any RPG player collects books, you, you know you collect dice too. So really neat they've got a website you can check out some of the stuff that they've got going on if you're all about your dice rolling i suggest you give them a look very very cool it's got the you know the dragon dracolich icon there for the high roll on the dice and i was really into this bag i, I don't need another dice bag but you got the face of mighty cthulhu on the front so yeah kind of just had to have that couldn't leave it there really neat really need to add to the collection you know we were present for the uh panel with jerry buckner buckner and garcia pac-man fevered john and the gen x grown-up guys were on point there they had a great interview with him picked up a cd and uh dude was nice enough to talk with us after the event and autograph it really cool so that was a really neat thing learned a lot about all the goings on with that and of course it's always a pleasure to hear the gen x guys talk and do their thing even got to hang out and do the podcast with them live on you know the morning of the last day that was really neat always cool to hang with those guys and then i gotta <laughs> yeet i couldn't resist it was a ghost there was a talking pac-man ghost there got a good deal on that too i think you know i didn't pay full price for anything 
Uh, I was happy with the prices I paid for everything. So this little guy, I hope he will stay right here in the box. At least you can squeeze him and make him do what he does. Be a nice little addition to the collection. Just the little things that you get to look at that make your heart happy in any given day. Really, really neat. But you know, there again, we're, we're sitting there at the end of Saturday and there's about an hour left. I want to go back to the arcade and play a little bit. And I end up down there in the bar, and I'm having a I'm having a drink with uh, John Gen X, and you know the clock's ticking. You know I'm going to go back to the arcade. I'm telling I'm going to play a little bit more, and it's almost like why go back for just an hour? You know they're they're about to close up shop, but something tell me you know just was telling me to go back up there, so I did. And lo and behold, I missed something. I missed something that would be the biggest piece of loot that I walked away with. And this was not planned at all. And how did I miss this? How did I walk right by this? A classic original double dragon cabinet. I haven't seen one of these things since the 80s and this was my jam in the arcade. I remember when it dropped. I mean, th there used to be lines two hours long to get up to the game to play it. The lines would stretch out of the arcade in the mall into the dadgum food court. You know, me and my buddy back then, I got, we were like seven years old. We just, you, you know, you would just wait. You would just wait till you could get up there and put your quarter on it and, and get your action going and it was worth it. Didn't think nothing of it. Uh, Double Dragon, man. That was it. And, you know, if there is a Holy Grail for me, and there's multiple ones, but, you know, this definitely is one. And here it was. So I'm playing it, right? And I'm, <laughs> it's like I know instantly, this is it. You're not leaving this here. And I was also in the back of my mind saying, yes, you are. Let's not be too ridiculous here. But no, I'm not. Because, again, I haven't seen one of these since the 80s. What is this doing here? And then next thing I know, I got Captain Retro over here in my ear. And he's like, I think he, he already felt the vibe. He's, you know, he says, here's myrrh in his natural habitat. I'm like, yeah. I said, but I think it's more than that, dude. I said, I think this is the one. I think this is it. And Captain's like, well... I'll call the guy right now. There's the number. And let's let's do this. You know, I'll I'll, I'll take it home for you. He didn't have to twist my arm. Next thing I know, I mean, everything just moved so fast. But Captain had him on the phone, and we did some negotiation. And you know, it's not perfect. None of these machines are. I mean, they're old. These are old. They all need some work. But it's playable. And. Uh, that's doing it for me. It's totally playable. And, uh, you know, work needing to be done, that's not a problem. When you got people like Captain, it's great to have friends in the business. And I aim to learn a little bit about it too as we go through this process and fully restore this thing. He's already done a little bit of work on it, already tweaked a few things that needed to be tweaked after just moving it. And, uh, you know, the player one joystick was a little spongy. That's common with these two, because you got to think player one is the one that gets the most use. But uh, he's already put a new joystick in there. Got some real nice healthy clicking going on, making your head butts and your jump kicks a little bit easier to do. So just the first small steps and a long journey to fully restore this thing along with the other machines I have. But this was an important one to get. And I got to tell you, when I stepped outside of the arcade room after you know shaking on it after making the deal it, it, it was emotional because this is the machine I mean I can't explain to you the gravity of this it was just like I just wanted to go back in time and tell seven-year-old me that you know what you're gonna have one of these someday so that <laughs> just really incredible it really made the expo for me and I can tell you that <laughs> I hope next year will be just as exciting, but that was, that was really something, and it is really something, and we have it, so just another great addition to the Mercade and another exciting chapter in the developments as far as that goes, and special thanks to Catton for getting that thing safely back here to the house, you know, that's not an easy job. Again, it's great to have friends in the business. What a great expo. How, how much of a better time could you possibly have anywhere? Did you attend? Some of you did. Got to see some folks there. 
A lot of you didn't. I know it's not necessarily in your backyard like it kind of is in mine, but it's one that I think is worth the trip. So I hope you liked what you saw, and if you didn't attend this year, maybe you're thinking about it next year. Super, super cool. You know, we had our retro gaming panel. It went really well. Got to talk with everybody and meet some cool people again. Just such a fantastic experience. I can't stress enough how much fun we had. And I hope you enjoyed the look that I just gave you at all the fantastic goings on. But it's not enough to just see it. I want to know what you think about it. Like I always tell you to do. I hope you're going to leave me a comment in the comment section of this video because you know that I love getting a conversation going with you right here on the MC Mer Show. If you like this video, and I hope that you like this video, I hope you're going to drop a like on this video. And if you have not already done so, I hope that you're going to subscribe to the MC Mer Show. Be a part of Mer Nation. We're rising up. All the fantastic things that we do right here on the show, you need to be a part of and make sure that you smack that notification bell so you're always the first to know when new content goes live because you know that I love making it for you. That is why I am here to have experiences, share experiences, hear about your experiences, and just enjoy retro vintage gaming together. So fantastic. It's why we're here. MC Murr, signing off for now. Can't wait for next year's expo, and I will see each and every one of you again next time.